Municipal races in Aurora were so close that it took two full days until the winners were projected. Former Congressman Mike Kaufman is the likely winner of the mayoral race, but only has a 273 vote lead over progressive Omar Montgomery. Arapahoe County has over a thousand ballots to be cured, and it's still unknown how many of those are from Aurora. Non-incumbents Juan Marcano and Allison Coombs pulled ahead in their city council races when the final votes were counted. Uh, David, Mike Kaufman is used to close races, but 273 votes is pretty close, and it's, it's still not done. But what does this say to you about Aurora with this kind of a close match? Or it might even be 237. Um, Good point. I, I think, a, a, well, Aurora is the, the swing county of, of Colorado, ab absolutely. Uh, Kaufman's a, a very strong campaigner, but uh, his leading opponent would also prove to be a strong campaigner and obviously got a, a huge boost of, of out-of-state money from the, uh, the, the gun ban lobby. Uh, Ryan Frazier, I, I think Montgomery and, and Kaufman are, are both, in a sense, winners because they, they did really well. Uh, Ryan Frazier came in with 16 percent. Uh, Colorado politics, somewhat unkindly, but maybe not inaccurately, uh, referred to him as the Harold Stassen of, of Colorado politics. He was an Aurora City Councilman who then, af after winning those races, uh, has gone zero for five in various things. Harold Stassen was a uh, moderate Republican governor of Minnesota in the 1940s and was a very serious presidential contender. Uh, didn't make it after two or three times, you know, Eisenhower and others got the nomination. But then he kept on running for the Republican nomination on and on and on again where he, he went up ultimately with a zero and nine uh, record in seeking the Republican presidential nomination. Um, so I, I'm, if Ryan Fraser hadn't been in this race, I, Kaufman probably would have won it by a more comfortable margin. Eric, uh, Kaufman, so far from what we can tell, is going to win by a whisker. The non-incumbents win from coming behind in the last uh, uh, hours of the, the election night. It doesn't seem that either one of them would walk into the Aurora City Council chambers with a mandate. So does that actually bode well for Aurora City government and how they will actually be working together, in, especially in a polarized environment like we are in right now? Yeah, I mean, if you believe that somewhat divided government or somewhat tentative government is not all bad, I don't think there's a conclusive outcome uh, in Aurora. It was amazing that uh, Kaufman had a big lead. When I looked at it on election night, I think it was... 38% Kaufman, 31, barely 31% for Montgomery. And now we're down to, you know, uh, point something difference in 273 uh, votes. I appreciate David's update on Harold Stassen. Uh, that was not, <laughs> did not come to the show prepared for a discussion of Harold Stassen, but that was, that, that was good to have. Uh, I don't see the two, unless there's a major abnormality, the 273 probably there are not enough votes out there to change it. Uh, I'm told that maybe out of the 1,000 votes still to be counted in Arapahoe County, maybe 500 at most are from the city of Aurora. By my math, Montgomery, even leaving out the other candidates like Ryan Frazier and Marcia Burzins, um, uh, Frazier, uh, excuse me, Montgomery would have to win three quarters or more of those outstanding votes, which seems like a, a tall order. If there's anything bothersome, and it's not just about Aurora, we saw it in Arvada too, it's that nonpartisan municipal elections, there have always been a minor element of partisanship to them, but now partisanship is becoming part and parcel of where they are. This was, uh, you know, Kaufman became the Republican candidate for obvious reasons. That's his background. Montgomery became the Democratic candidate. We saw the same play up in Arvada. Uh, you know, partisanship is everywhere these days. Can we keep it a little bit lower key in these municipal races? That's probably a losing battle on my part, but I'll make the plug. Always love your optimism, Eric. Uh, Josh, uh, Omar uh, Montgomery uh, has not conceded, doesn't have to until the final vote is counted, uh, but he has definitely shown himself as a formidable candidate so far in this race. Uh, do you see a future for him in other races with making a uh, significant play in this one? Absolutely. You know, it's worth noting that, uh, that Representative Kaufman dropped uh, $500,000 that we know of in this election. Omar was outspent five to one and is still within 273 votes. And the reason why is because he had a compelling narrative. Uh, going back to my CC point, you know, he talked to and connected with voters in Aurora about making their lives better, making sure that people were making a decent wage, that they had health care. Um, 
and so I believe he's a, he's a force to be reckoned with, and I think we'll see him again. Patty, I am uh, born and raised in Denver. I've always loved the city, uh, so it's uh, near and dear to my heart. But it's seeming to me that Aurora is becoming a little bit more interesting than Denver. You have a more interest, you have a more diverse population, ethnicity, age, politically, and its politics are a little bit more interesting. What do you think? Well, in fact, we said that on our cover two weeks ago that Aurora was Denver's uh, was Colorado's most interesting city. Part of it is the huge percentage of people in Aurora who are immigrants from other countries and every country imaginable. I mean, it is a huge, huge population. Uh, some are refugees from horrible situations. And what the city has done to try to accommodate them, to make them feel at home, to educate them, it's challenging, but I think it's been working. So that's one really interesting angle. Just the fact that you've got Colfax running through it and they're dealing with the same issues there that Denver is, but they're kind of doing them in interesting ways. They're doing more for the arts right now along Colfax than Denver has been doing. So Aurora is a growing city with a lot of challenges, and one of them is going to be a divided go government right now. But that's fun, too. I mean, Denver City Council is a lot more fun to watch now that you've got Candy C. DeBaca <laughs> taking on Michael Hancock. And I think you want that kind of yin and yang in your government. You want to have discussions, and Aurora needs them.